Happy Friday. Happy offering day. Today's offering day. Today's the day we do our offerings and donations and our tithe to help send this message around the world. And we're talking about miracles. Watch yesterday's video. We talked about deathbed miracles. Today, I want to talk to you about why, why miracles follow me. Why, why they follow me. This is good. These videos have an, these Videos we're doing have an incredible wow factor. Huh? I mean, I I do these videos and I go, wow. Because sometimes the Lord shows me things while I do them. Amen. So I want to talk to you today about why miracles, everywhere I go, miracles follow me. Anywhere I'm at, there's always potential for a miracle. They happen all the time. Glory to God. Financial miracles, healing miracles, all kinds of miracles. Glory to God. How many of you know God is in the miracle business? All he needs is all he needs is somebody to do it. Huh? God did miracles through Jesus when Jesus was here. Jesus emptied himself when he came to this earth. But Jesus had perfect faith. His faith was perfect. And he was anointed with power. So am I. Glory to God. People say, well, you're not Jesus. No, but Jesus said I can do what he did. So I do. How simple is it? Folks, I'm telling you, sometimes I'm amazed by, <clears throat> by how simple this is. Say this with me on this happy Friday, on this offering day. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. <clears throat> I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everything works out for me. It always does. Glory to God, huh? I'm good looking. Getting better looking every day, too. Ladies, say that. Everybody should say, I am beautiful every time they look in the mirror. You do that. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Everybody else will think you're beautiful, too. Glory to God, huh? Why miracles follow me? Make sure you call me today on offering day <clears throat> when you do your offerings and donations. I'm going to be flying this morning, early. So I will be back on the phone by 11 o'clock uh, Eastern time. So if you call early, leave a message and I'll return your call. Otherwise, uh, call me after 11 and I'll get your call live or return it right away. I always return phone calls. Amen. So glory to God. Why miracles follow me? Uh, I started doing miracles and performing miracles. You know, every miracle has to be performed by a person. God does not just do miracles on his own ever. He doesn't just do a miracle. Somebody on this earth has to cause it to happen. Now, that's a fact. Even parting the Red Sea, Moses had to hold up his staff. Moses performed that miracle. God does it. But a person has to make it happen. Moses had to hold up his staff. And he had to keep his staff up. And people had to help him keep his staff because his arms got tired. So they held up his arms to keep his arms up. Moses made that. Moses made all the plagues happen. He went in and told Pharaoh what is going to happen 
Moses spoke those plagues into existence. With Elijah, with fire coming down to consume the offering, he, he called it down. With Joshua, when the sun stood still, he said, sun stand still, and it did. He made that happen. But it was the power of God. But it has to be done by a person on this earth. God never just does miracles because he gave us the authority in this earth. God could not even raise up Israel and bring them back from captivity without Ezekiel speaking over the dry bones. Now you start thinking about this. This is incredible. And I'll go, I'm going to go into this in greater depths as we go through this series on miracles. We're teaching out of this miracle book. I'm still on the introduction. Well, this, this, we've been at this all week. I'm still on the introduction. Hopefully, I'll finish the introduction this week. Next week, we can get into the meat of the book. I'm going through that book. I want you to know there's miracles available. That you can get a miracle. Your friends can get a miracle. Your family can get a miracle. Miracles, follow me. I can do it over the phone just as easy as I can do it in person. Because of the power of God does not know any distance. The Holy Spirit is not, is not confined to certain places. People say, well, that's a miracle place. No, a miracle place is wherever I'm at. And I'm not the only one who can do these miracles. But I'm probably the only one who's available to you. You call Kenneth Copeland, that guy can get a miracle for you. He knows how to do it. He does it. Just incredibly anointed. But he's a little hard to get on the phone. Creflo, that guy knows miracles. He gets miracles done all the time. He raised somebody from the dead. Huh? He's a little hard to get a hold of, folks. But I am available. That's the difference. Miracles started in Wisconsin three weeks after I got saved. I was reading in Mark 16, verse 17. A lot of you know this story. You can see I live here. It said Jesus is doing the Great Commission right now. He's telling them to go out and get people saved. And these signs, he says, in verse 17, shall follow those people who have faith in my name. They shall cast out devils. They shall lay hands on the sick and they will recover. When I read that, sitting at my desk, by myself, nobody else in the office, in a used car lot that I was managing for a family up there. The power of God came over me and I didn't even know what was going on. I had been saved. I had never seen anybody healed. I had never seen anybody pray for. I had heard about it on TV, but I never saw it. But I had gotten saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. I had just gotten filled with the Holy Ghost a couple, a few days before that. And I'm sitting there reading Mark, and I read this, and all of a sudden, I felt, I just, you just, you can feel something. I didn't know what it was. For years, I didn't know what it was. But I realize now that it was the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And God anointed me with power. And an hour later, an hour later, somebody came out of the service department with a blown up knee and I put my hand on his shoulder and I said, be healed in Jesus' name. I said, I command that knee to be healed in Jesus' name. Within an hour, his blown out knee, he had torn cartilage in his knee. Within an hour, it was totally healed. Totally healed. He said, I'll be at work tomorrow. We had incredible miracles up there in Tomahawk, Wisconsin. Then we 
I got kicked out of our church because the pastor said I was attracting too much attention. Miracles attract attention. So we were not welcome in any church up there because those pastors all knew each other. Bless their hearts, wonderful people. But they didn't want anything to do with me because I was doing miracles. I mean, can you imagine that? Miracles? So we opened our own church. We didn't have any place to go to church. Well, the people in our town wouldn't come because they were all loyal to the pastor, but people from surrounding towns came by the carload and they got incredible miracles. So finally, after about a year of that, uh, Mary says, and we had somebody helping us to teach us how to do that and to work with us. We had a wonderful mentor and his wife who had come from Alaska and they took care of us and, and guided us, especially me. Because even though I was incredibly anointed and things were going on, he, he was too. The other guy was too, Neil was too. Neil Syverson, he's in Alaska. Find him if you need a miracle up there. Amen. Glory to God. He's right there in Alaska, folks. He's accessible. If you can. Just, he's in Fairbanks. Go find him. Anyway, Mary says to me one day, she says, you know, if you want to be in ministry, you need more training. I said, oh, she said, yeah. So I thought, well, maybe we ought to go to Bible college. So we went to Rhema. We got down to Tulsa, and it wasn't long, and miracles were going on down there. There were some miracles going on in the church down there, because Brother Hagen was there, but they were also going on outside the church. I mean, I mean, we weren't down there a week or two. I was playing softball with the people from Rhema, and somebody swung a bat and blew out his knee. He was laying on the ground screaming and oh my goodness, that scream. And everybody's going, oh, and they're all praying in tongues around him and oh my goodness. And finally, after about five minutes of that, they moved away and I walked up to him, held my hand over him. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command that knee to be healed. I stepped back. And in five minutes, that guy was back playing softball. His knee he laid there and his knee healed right in front of everybody. Did they look at me funny? Glory to God. People just, it just we came to Florida. Miracles followed us here. What does it say here? It said, these signs, that word signs actually means miracles. These miracles shall follow those people who have faith in my name. I'm one of them. I'm not the only one, but I am one of them. I have faith in the name of Jesus. Always have. I believe when I use that name, whatever I say is going to happen, including miracles. That does. All you have to do is receive it. <laughs> Lady said to me last night, she says, yesterday she said, you know how much faith I had when you spoke the blessing over me? I said, how much? She said, I didn't have any faith at all. But I learned to keep my mouth shut. She said, my whole life changed. You don't need faith. You can use my faith to get a miracle, a healing miracle or a financial miracle. I'm going to get into this as we go along. You're going to learn how to get a miracle. But I'm telling you right now, folks, if you need a miracle, please call me. We'll get it right over the phone for you. Make sure you call me today when you do your offerings and donations because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you that God told us to speak. And God said, when you do that, I will bless them. And he does. That's just what I did with that woman. The one whose life changed so dramatically. And the same thing will happen for you. Glory, we're getting praise reports literally every day. Glory to God. You need a miracle? Call me. Make sure you call today. Share this video with everybody you know. I want everybody to get a miracle.